YouTube kick. Muslim shaking hands. Let me show you the video. Let's just get it cracking. I want you guys to notice one thing in this uh, video. Watch what he does with his hand. You see, he did this. I want y'all to notice, and I'll show it again. Um, he did this. When he got his hand away from her, he went did it like that. Keep Just keep that in mind, okay? I'll show it to you one more time. Watch it at the end. Watch his hand. See, he went. Okay, so what does that have to do with anything, okay? I'm not Muslim, never been Muslim. I only know a few Muslim people in my life. So what's the issue here? Now, listen, I'm not going to sit here and pretend um, like I, I know it all, okay? I've heard two sides of the coin, okay? One is that if you're Muslim, you don't tend to shake hands with somebody who uh, somebody of the opposite sex who's not within your family or very close to you. And then I've heard other people say, like, you know, well, the reason Muslims don't do it is because they're sexist. They don't respect women enough to shake their hands, Okay. Listen, do I think there's a little bit of both? Of course. Do I think some respected Muslims just won't do it regardless because they feel like, hey, you know, um, you're not my mom, you're not my sister, you're not my close friend. No. Especially, you're not my mom or sister, so I ain't shaking no hands. It could be because I don't respect you like that. You know, women in my culture aren't seen like that. We don't shake hands with them. We shake hands with other men. That's just how it goes. Um, that's besides the point uh, right now. I want you to hear another side of the story, and then we'll come to our, our conclusions at the end. We'll see which way we want to go with it, okay? Um, let's check it out. I got two videos for you. His second question is, I'm having problems with shaking hands with women. How, what to do? It is easy for me in a Muslim country to say, avoid women. But someone who's in a non-Muslim country, someone who's a minority, this might be a little bit difficult. So there are ways of avoiding this. One of them is keep your distance. When does someone comes to you with a stretched hand or shaking when you're close, when there's a proximity that is so close and near? The moment you step three steps back, putting your hands on your chest, and just greeting them by hi, good morning, and you show that you don't want the gap to be narrowed, no one will shake hands with you. Will they be offended? Who gives a, who cares? <laughs> who cares? I don't care if they get offended or not. I care whether Allah would throw me in hell because of that or not. The Prophet says, Alaihissalam, it is better or it is best for a person to be stabbed in his head with a needle made of iron rather than to touch a woman that is not permissible for him. So always keep this in mind. If you feel embarrassed, if you feel shy not to shake hands, remember what's, uh, what awaits you on the day of judgment in hell. And the more you try to not get involved in mixed gatherings or meetings, the better you will find it, inshallah, and easier for you to avoid such uh, situations. Very interesting, huh? Let me show you one more. We have from the UK. Well, I don't know why I did that. Hold on. All right, let's just watch one more video, okay? So, Sheikh, I know that shaking hands with women is not permissible. 
Now my question is sometimes we face situations where someone extends their hands towards us, for example, a female teacher. Now, how do we escape from this situation? Do we tell them that it's, that it's haram or should we make other excuses? First of all, you have to always keep your distance from women. You cannot be this close to a woman where she extends her hands and then you ask, what should I do? Sometimes they may jump on you and kiss you. In some cultures, it's normal for women to kiss on the cheek. The men, they meet, like in Spain or in, 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 in the likes. So it's, it's cultural. There's no problem in that. So you as a man, when you come to encounter the opposite gender due to school, due to work, due to uh, buying something in a store, keep your distance from far away, two, three meters. Don't get so close so that you cannot escape. If you're two, three meters, she would not walk extending her arm or hand to shake hands. She'll just nod. In worst case scenario, somebody of the opposite gender extends their hand. Is it permissible to shake hands? The answer is no. Why are you hesitant in rejecting it? Oh, Sheikh, it's embarrassing. Embarrassing to who? To the poor lady. If I don't reach out, if I don't shake hands, if I don't touch her, she might be offended. Okay, and if you don't offend her and you do shake hands, what are the consequences? Oh, Sheikh, I may be thrown into hell and Allah will punish me and torment me for that. Okay. What is it? What is, what's what's going to be? What, what are you going to choose? Hell or offending her? Definitely, yeah, it's no brainer. Simply just keep your hands to yourself and say, pardon me, this is against my religion. I can't shake hands with the opposite gender. Full stop. Whoever is offended is offended. The hell with them. <laughs> With all due respect, Danny, I do not want to go to hell. If they want to be offended, be my guest. Who cares? They have their culture. I have my religion. Who's proud of his belief more, you or them? This is something you have to pay attention to. Uh Please note that these videos were made before that Twitter video. And that guy, like I said, listen. We all have ties to, some of us have ties to religion. Some of us have ties to uh, certain things in our life. I want to read this from you. And you can find this at IslamQA.com. Uh, That's IslamQA.com if you want to um, understand where I got this. So it does say, it says, for one of you, for one of you, uh, wait a minute. The, it says the message of Allah said, for one of you to be stabbed in the head with an iron needle is better for him that he should touch a woman who is not permissible to him. Okay. It also says this heat is, alone is sufficient to deter and is still invidious required of us by Allah because it implies that touching a woman may lead to temptation and immorality. It was narrated, and I can't say all these names, um, by Achea, the wife of a prophet. When the believing women migrated to the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him and they would be tested in accordance with the words of Allah. O prophet, when believing women come to give you Baha'a pledge, they will not associate anything in worship with Allah, that they, may not, that they will not steal and that they will not commit illegal sexual intercourse. Okay? And there's a lot more to read here. But so based off what I'm seeing, uh, there's a part down here. It is narrated by the Umaha, the daughter of this person, the messenger of Allah, blessings and peacings of Allah be upon him, said, I do not shake hands with women. Secondly, it is not permissible to shake hands even with a barrier in between shaking hands, such as shaking hands from underneath the garment and the like. The hadith of the narrator allowing is the sia. It is narrated. So, based off what I'm reading, based off what he just said, it's against the religion to shake a woman's hand. And so I'm just going to be honest. You know, we all have reasons to believe 
our religions, right? Obviously, I'm, I'm Catholic, so I believe what I believe. So I would obviously be against this. But let me say this. When you are deeply rooted and grew up in a certain religion or a culture, it is much, and this looks like a very young man. He believes what he believes, and they truly believe that you shaking hands with a woman can lead to sexual immorality, and it can lead you to hell. So this young man's doing what he did. I don't think it was right for the Norwegian, well, I think that what it was, Norwegian woman. I don't think it was right for her to say that you're going to work with women, so you got to learn to shake hands. If you don't, you ain't going to make it. How can you say something like that when the man's not shaking your hand out of disrespect, or he wasn't even mean about it? He says, I'm not shaking hands with women because I'm not, I don't, I'm not willing to go to hell for it. That's what he believes. And we are, are allowed religious freedoms in this country. And I believe they're allowed religious freedoms in their country. So it, it should not be, uh, and she was forceful about it. The young man took the paper. It was about to do this, but he tried to do that. And she's over here grabbing his hand and all of that nonsense. And he's like, hey, hey, hey. you know, chill. But she took it as a disrespect, as you you hate women. When it when really in reality, to them, it's better not to do it because I'm not willing to go to hell or even tip myself by shaking your hand. I ain't gonna do it. And uh, so I would say she was wrong to call him out like that for all of that, just because the young man was like, "Hey, look, I, that that ain't my that ain't my jizz. In my religion, that's not a, that's not a thing we do. It's a disrespect. So I'm not gonna do it. And so. I think she was wrong to do that to him, um, call him out. And the people arguing in the comments of the Twitter feeds and all that saying, oh, because he's sexist and he hates women and blah, 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 blah. They believe the, these people believe they will go to hell if they allow themselves to be tempted or allow themselves to um, fall into sexual immorality. So they take that serious. What is it any different from what you believe, Right. Well, you believe that if you continue to have sex outside of marriage over and over, that that's a disrespect to God. Do you not believe that? We all have our religions, so just relax. It ain't like she shouldn't have taken it so personal. But people are very quick in this society to make it always man versus woman and be like, well, it's because he's sexist. He hates women. He hates. It's like. Man, are there people who are misogynist? And are there countries that disrespect women? Are there countries who look at women as second class and all that? Yes. But you don't have to bring that into every argument. It's just ridiculous. Now, from what I saw in the comments, once again, I don't think it was one side stronger than the other. It looked like 50-50 to me. But my opinion on it, and you guys let me know yours. I believe that young man shouldn't have had to shake her hand if he truly believes that he's going to go to hell and it's going to, um, if he does that, because it leads to temptation, sex, and morality in uh, his, his God or whatever they call Allah. And my apologies for not knowing that very well, but Allah telling them that you better not do it. It ain't a good thing. I promise you it's not a good route. Um, then, uh, obviously that's embedded in him. Don't make him have to do that. Don't force him to really have to go against his religion, choose his religion or his job. You know what I mean? Or choose his religion or shaking your hand on stage. Come on now. That's ridiculous. And like he said, this man, this man who is telling, what can a man do to keep from being disrespectful? This man didn't say, go up to a woman and go, don't you dare try to shake my hand. He said, keep your distance. Make it to where it's not even possible. Just be like, Hey, how's it going? Good morning. Way, way from across the room, two or three meters away. He said, just don't even get it there. So you don't have to even worry about it. But if it gets to that point, you got to choose one, your religion or her. And which one you going to choose? And we all make those decisions. I got to make that decision. Do I choose my religion or do I choose love is love? <laughs> At the end of the day, you know which way I'm going. I'm just saying we all have our ways. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Y'all have a great night. Or a great day. Or a great afternoon. Peace.